Hello, dear listener. A huge thank you for tuning in and an enormous welcome to the Eden Project podcast, Conversations in the Canopy. This is a podcast that aims to explore the history, the present and the future of human nature connection. We're going to talk to scientists, storytellers, architects, campaigners, psychologists and botanists. In other words, we're going to be talking to people who are passionate and knee deep in connecting people with the natural world. We'll also hear some sounds from some non-human life forms throughout every episode and learn about what impact they have on us in a later episode. But who is this voice speaking to you right now? My name is Todd and I'm a keen bean when it comes to the topic of connecting people with the natural world, especially when it leads to positive change for both parties. Now, you may be wondering something. Why is a Geordie that is, a person from Newcastle, on a podcast that is produced inside of a rainforest, which is inside of a clay pit in the middle of Cornwall, which is about as far away as you can get from Newcastle. Well, it was love that brought me here. For years I've been campaigning for connecting and conversing with the natural world. I want to share the stories of all the incredible fauna and flora that exists, from the charismatic megafauna like elephants and sharks, to the not-so-charismatic microscopic world of soil, the realm of mycelium and earthworms. And I'll stop myself there before I spend hours talking about plants, because that's my other job here. I work as an explainer and tail maker. I have loads of fun giving walkabout tours around our gargantuan rainforest and connecting people with plants, climate change and themselves. During one of these tours, someone asked me why they weren't digital. They wondered how people who may not be able to get to Cornwall would be able to engage with what Eden had to offer. Then another person asked a similar question, and the idea started to germinate in my mind. As you've guessed, enough sunlight, water and nutrients reached this little seedling and it grew into a flower. This podcast is the pollen of that flower, ready to be spread far and wide. But let's get acquainted. What is the Eden Project? What do we do here and around the world? We're a charity, a social enterprise and a visitor attraction here in Cornwall. We are a global movement working with nature to tackle the planetary emergency. We're on a mission to help people realise that we are a part of nature. We connect people through stories, education, innovation and all sorts of other incredible initiatives. We represent what the future could look like, and we ask that people get invested and involved in creating that very future. There is power in unifying, in working together, to create a better world for all living things. This podcast aims to be that connective tissue, a mycorrhizal network between people. But I'm no expert. I'm not a scientist. I'm not anyone with a great deal of knowledge about anything. What I am is curious. And I'm sure you are too. That's hopefully why you're here. I want to learn about how I can be more connected, what the benefits are, how I can change for myself, for others, and for the natural world. Curiosity can take us a long way. But sometimes when I'm encountered with big words and big concepts, my interest can be turned off because I don't feel confident in understanding it. Well, this podcast, I hope, will be a journey for me and you to explore the unknown with our desire to know. I'll be your earpiece jargon buster, and these conversations will be the beacon of clarity towards a better world. So, what have we got coming up? First, we'll hear from a tiny blue bacteria before exploring how without it, life would be very different. To guide us on this exploration is our chief scientific officer, Dr. Joe Elworthy. Following her up, in episode two, we're going to London to hear from Dr. Georgina Gould on why a dose of nature rather than pharmaceuticals, could be the first port of call for our mental health struggles. In episode 3, we're exploring the importance of natural soundscapes, the future of virtual soundscapes, and the extinction of experience, with PhD fellow Alex Smalley. The list goes on. We've got plenty of captivating speakers and interesting topics for you to digest. And with all that excitement, I'll leave you to enjoy the present moment. You'll hear from me soon, and I look forward to sharing these incredible stories with you. For conversations in the canopy, and for all the wonderful things on this planet, I've been Todd.